Barbara came to the studio at the beginning and we talked about everything and I showed her examples of what I've been doing and she got a feel for what she wanted to do. So Barbara um, sent me this image here via email and uh, I tried it in a few different ways with a dark background, with a white background, with the lettering just outlined and then she decided she liked it, you know, with the lettering outlined with the pin line around the whole uh, image. Barbara comes from an advertising background and knows about layout. And so rather than working with someone who actually was drawing on plates, we worked from her digital files that she composed. She worked up the, the design, the layout of the two words, culture vulture, and she wanted to put a texture behind the letters. And what she wanted to do was use a fabric and have it be very literal because she strives to be very straightforward and literal in the way she presents either their photograph or materials. And then she had a number of fabric swatches that she had collected, and she asked me to try to do different things with them. And so I worked with a, a guy doing digital compositing. We scanned the fabrics and then dropped them into the background. And they all had very different kinds of textures. So she made a decision about which cloth she wanted and then I had these plates made. These are the printing elements here, and then finished print is here. Now the way the print is done is uh, it's, it's inked up in a traditional manner, uh, what you would ink up in normal etching, and uh, then it's printed shinkole, which means that it's printed on a piece of Japanese paper that then is laminated to the printing back paper as it goes through the press. And what that does, is it creates a very subtle difference between the actual image and the paper. You can see there's a very slight warmth to the image in here, and it just offsets it very, very nicely from the paper. I'm working with a person of incredibly high integrity. You know, she, she takes what she does seriously. She takes the message she's putting out seriously. Uh, and you know, she, she's gotten the recognition over the years she deserves for being such a unique artist. Her work is iconic in our culture. I mean, when you see a Barbara Kruger, you know it's a Barbara Kruger. It's exciting to do something for Lincoln Center because, you know, it's such a renowned venue for all kinds of music and performance. Exciting to be part of the cultural life of New York City. <laughs>